Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the conference of the Global Apparel Sourcing Expo, the main digital sourcing event for the apparel industry taking place in 2020. My name is Matthijs Grité. I'm Secretary General of the International Apparel Federation. This is the global body uniting industry associations from the apparel industry from all over the world, from all continents, with our mission to build stronger, smarter, and more sustainable supply chains. I am now very proud to announce in our series on sustainability in this conference, Mr. Georg Dieners, the General Secretary of the Ökotex Association. Since several decennia, Ökotex has played a leading role in helping to communicate and to execute the improvement of environmental conditions in the apparel industry. So now I would like to give the word to Mr. Dinas to present um, and to teach us uh, what Ecotex has been uh, doing and what Ecotex will be doing in the coming months uh, on environmental improvements in the apparel industry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your introduction. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending my presentation which I try to start now. Okay, um, the topic of my presentation today is the future of textile certification in view of the changes that are taking place in the world. Not only climate change, certainly one of the most impressive, but it will also have a decisive impact on our lives, our social environment and our daily habits. As early as 2018, recognized climate experts have warned of a rise in global temperatures and that a rise of 1.5 degrees is unlikely to be achieved with the measures introduced to date. The experts also warned that only with a deviation of 0.5 degrees will the risk of droughts, floods, and extreme heat have a dramatic impact on our lives. Moreover, more than 2 billion people have limited access to fresh water. This situation will continue to worsen, and by 2050, a quarter of the world's population is expected to live in countries affected by chronic water sh shortages and limited access to fresh water. If you read the media carefully, you will currently find numerous articles about the falling groundwater levels in Western Europe, not least caused by the hot summers that Europe has had in the recent years. But the warming of 1.5 degrees has other effects that we do not even think about at first sight. The experts developed the scenario that the effects of warming will affect disadvantages and vulnerable groups of the population through food insecurity, higher food prices, loss of income, lost livelihoods, adverse impacts on health and displacement of the population. The goals that could at least limit such a scenario have been known for years and have been formulated by the UN as sustainability goals. What do these facts and scenarios now mean for the textile industry and how can certifications support the textile industry in achieving and implementing sustainability goals? For the time being, let us stick to further assumptions and scenarios. It is actually quite obvious, and the first tendencies can certainly be identified when we look at today's fashion. We no longer see any major seasonal differences. The classic spring, summer, and autumn winterism is hardly recognizable. This means that climate change will cause a change in the ordering rhythm and will have a major impact on production planning. 
the impact on production in the textile producing countries, but also the social impact that will accompany the rise in sea levels will be dramatic. Production areas will be reduced, but agricultural land will also be taken up by the oceans, which will lead to further problems, namely the basic supply of the people living, for example, in Bangladesh. If the sea level rises by one meter, which does not seem unrealistic, Bangladesh land area will be flooded by almost a quarter and about 70,000 square kilometer of land will be destroyed for food cultivation. With the further rise of half a meter, about one third of the land area is lost. It is no secret that the textile industry is one of the main users and consumers of water, and production is only one of the biggest water polluters. Global warming will make this even worse. How will the people fare? Climate change will greatly increase the number of climate refugees. Future forecasts predict that by 2050, there will be around 200 million climate refugees, which will lead to social hardship and poverty and will be a burden on societies, as these people will have to enable to lead a life worthy of life again when conditions will be restricted. The initial situation for textile and leather production is extremely challenging. We initially have a large number of small and medium-sized companies scattered all over the world. In order to meet the requirements, enormous investments have to be made to protect the world from the harmful effects of textile production such as air purification, water treatment, waste recycling, and so on. In addition, there are no uniform regulations in the world, neither for environmental nor for social aspects. This means that each country of production set its own standards, which are sometimes not comparable with other countries and usually do not meet the expectation of brands and stakeholders. Above all, we have a very complex textile supply chain, which is also not very transparent and comprehensible to the end consumer. In addition to all of this, there are now other aspects that mankind did not expect, but which will also have a now already foreseeable influence on production, but also on our buying behavior. It's COVID-19. The pandemic is currently making us very sensitive to what is happening in the world. The awareness to focus on more sustainable products or to face this topic even openly seems to be sharpening. It has the impression that end consumers in the future, they will think even more carefully about how and what to buy. To facilitate these purchasing decisions, brands must offer transparency across their entire supply chain to meet their social responsibility. We are facing changing market requirements in terms of transparency and traceability, not only for brands who want to know who is actually involved in the supply chain, but also for consumers who want to be sure that they can buy their clothes without any concern. This leads to responsible purchasing for both. With regard to efficient production and cost structures, the conservation of resources plays an essential role here. For example, the most efficient and effective use of water, chemicals and energy, as well as the avoidance of waste and the sensible use and handling of the people who work in production. This leads to sustainability in the production processes and those also to sustainable purchasing. 
At the end of all, this is the product and consumer safety. For Ecotex, sustainability means a process in an interplay between the environment, social responsibility and business practice. The aim is to preserve life and the economy for future generations. We consider the entire production chain from incoming inspection with EcoPassport for the evaluation of chemicals and auxiliaries through process control with STEP and detox to zero. To outgoing or product control with our certifications and labels like the leather standard, standard 100 and the made in green label. Finally, the respective Ökotex certifications and labels are shown graphically in a slightly different way at a glance. You see here the input to control, a certification system for textile and chemicals, colorants and auxiliaries, the process control with STEP and detox to zero, where STEP is a certification system for sustainable textile and leather production, and detox to zero, an analyze and evaluation system according to the detox to zero criteria of Greenpeace. And last but not least, the output control with our Made in Green label, the Ökotex standard 100 and the laser standard. Thank you very much for your attention to this very exciting and challenging topics and I will be happy to answer your questions. So, Mr. Dinas, thank you very much for this highly interesting uh, presentation. Um, I have to say I started in this industry in uh, 97, um, and uh, I have known Ökotex for, for a long time, and in the beginning it was very much associated with the health of the user, um, and, and clearly, uh, Ökotex has involved very much, very much evolved to, to a whole suite of uh, certification products uh, that cover the entire uh, supply chain. Uh, very, very interesting indeed. Um, we, we have some specific questions for you that, uh, okay. that I would like to ask. Um, the first question is specifically about the, the, the value and the power of certification. How can it help? How can certification help to help companies and the public to meet the current environmental challenges? Okay. Yeah. Um, with the standards and label by Ökotex, uh, we enable a transparent communication and invest in the credibility of the company. With the certification of textiles, traders get a legal conformity and ensures an effective consumer protection. The standards and label by Ökotex give consumers confidence and help to protect the planet. This is our vision. All right. Well, I, I, I have also personally, and I personally believe that, uh, you know, informing consumers and making them help to make informed choices uh, is crucial. Uh, if we want yep. the industry to make uh, to make the changes, so and and if there is a powerful uh, and trustworthy apparatus behind it, so that they are trustworthy uh, choices, this is this is good for the uh, for the whole industry. So that's uh, that's very interesting. Now, a final question: um, If we look into the future, um, what are the steps that you would like to take, especially in these challenging? times to further advance the issue of sustainability in our industry? Yeah, we have uh, some some big problems running um, in uh, Ökotex. We want to integrate the Made in Green label um, even more into the market uh, and draw the attention to the fact that a more sustainable production of textiles is not only important for our health, but also for our planet. Holistic words but this is our, our goal. 
Uh, we are also working on uh, minimizing our CO2 footprint and working on the topic of recycling. Um, therefore, it is planned that manufacturers get the opportunity to certify recycled articles within the standard 100 if the limit meets the parameters of standard 100. Recycling and sustainability are in the focus of consumers and must be noted by uh, brands, retailers, and for sure for Ökotex. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and um, I do think uh, recycling uh, is, is, is crucial. It's one of the more powerful ways uh, to reduce the environmental impact uh, yeah. of, of, of the industry. So. Anything that you do to facilitate that, I think, will have uh, important uh, important effects. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dinas, for uh, expanding on some of the points, uh, answering uh, the questions, and explaining the audience uh, what uh, Ecotex is, uh, is doing in the supply chain uh, to help the industry become more um, improve its environmental uh, performance. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.